Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial about the Avani Data Table component for screen flows. Today, we are diving into how to refresh your data in real time when adding a new data through another flow, through the open flow dialog interaction. So this is really great if you want to keep your Salesforce data up to date and enhance the Salesforce user experience. So whether you're new to Salesforce or an experienced user, this guide is designed to be straightforward to follow. So let's get started and unlock the full potential of the Avonit data table with the OpenFlow dialog interaction. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here I have this example using the Avonit data table to display a list of rentals. And on this data table, I added an action, add an action, and is, this action is calling or opening another flow. So let's click on open new rental. That's my other flow open from this action. So here you can select a location. Let's select the bike to add a new rental. Let's select the contact. Next. And when I click on confirm, you will see on the back end on the data table. So you will see confirmation message and then the data is automatically added to the data table on the background without any user intervention. So that's what I'm talking about when adding a new data using the OpenFlow dialog and the auto refresh on the data table. This is my flow. Let's go on the screen element and let's select the Avonit data table, the one I want to launch an, another flow. Let's open the component builder so from there, you will see the new rental button. So that's easy to go on the interaction tab and create the interaction when user press this button. So add a header action. Let's, let's select the target name, which is the button, new rental. Type it's open flow dialog. Let's select the flow I want to open. If needed, you can pass input variable. Now, for my example, I don't need to use input variable here because I'm adding new data. Uh, if you want, you can have model header, accessible description, set a size for the model. Let's select now interaction on finish. Basically, that's the interaction I like to be triggered when the open flow dialog is finished. So here I will add an item and let's select the first interaction, which is refresh query. And that's why it's extremely important on the data table you're using here to launch the other flow to make sure that this data table is set up on the query data source. So let's add another interaction, show toast message. And let's say thank you. Variant to success. Close, save. Let's get back to property just want to mention one de important detail to make sure that this is working fine. You need to make sure that this data table is set up on the query data source. Otherwise, you won't have the option to refresh query on the interaction. So that's basically how to set up an auto refresh when the open flow dialog is closed to automatically refresh the data table on the back one, which is really great for the user experience because the data is automatically added to the data table. I hope you're enjoying this video. Let me know if you have any question, comment in the, the comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe.